hello beautiful souls and welcome welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel thank you all so much for joining me here today it's the empress and in today's video we are doing our weekly forecast to look at the energies of the week ahead of us so this reading is going to be from may 22nd to the 28th um, and we are going to be looking at the overall energies and things that may be impacting or influencing us, certain things that may be coming our way, and any guidance or advice that Spirit has for us for the week ahead. So uh, with all of that being said, you can find the timestamps to the beginning of your reading. We are doing zodiac readings here, so be sure to watch your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any other placements or titles that you feel called to at this time. Definitely don't feel restricted um, by just your sun sign or anything like that. The timestamps will be in the description box again. So uh, with all of that being said, I will see you guys at your reading. Hello, my beautiful Aries souls, and welcome, welcome to your reading. We are looking at the week ahead for you guys. So this reading is for the 22nd through the 28th of May. Um, and we are looking at the overall energies, what may be coming your way, how it may be impacting you. Uh, any guidance or advice that Spirit has for you at this time. So let's go ahead here, you guys. I do ask if this resonates with you, please hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know what sign you watched. Uh, let me know how you liked these readings. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out when I post future videos like this. And again, don't feel restricted by just your sun sign. Feel free to watch um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any of the other titles that call out to you. So here for you guys' overall energy, Aries, let's get into your reading. We have um, this energy of success here, of luck, of success. So I do feel for Aries that there is going to be like some sort of energy coming in for you this week that is unexpected but also very welcome um, a very welcome almost relief kind of energy coming in for Aries like maybe you thought you were going to have to pay a certain amount of money to fix your vehicle and turns out it was only half of that it's like that kind of energy coming in or maybe you're at the grocery store and somebody in front of you pays for your order or um, you go out to eat and somebody pays your bill like that kind of energy coming in here for you guys so that is very beautiful kind of like a pay it forward energy coming in here for Aries this week I love that let's go ahead Aries and see what else we have coming your way for the week ahead we have loss with healer guides okay so I feel like Aries there is There is like this energy of something being missing, but it being replaced by something else. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening here is like this energy of feeling like you're going to miss out, you're going to lose something, um, or like you're going to be in lack or not have enough. And it's like this unexpected victory win, luck coming in um, unexpectedly. So there is going to be kind of a up and down energy for you guys this week. Um, let's pull another card for Aries. Resourcefulness. The Horned Cactus, yeah. So there is an emphasis on um, feeling very kind of stretched thin, um, especially financially. That's coming in here quite strongly for Aries this week. So being very resourceful, being very responsible with your finances, um, protecting your finances, protecting yourself from any kind of loss or lack, and really kind of staying ahead of the game with any sort of maintenance or anything like that in your life right now is going to be super helpful for you, Aries. So I feel like for you guys, there's something here like Spirit wanting you to know that even though it may feel like you're losing or like you're getting set back or like, um, you know, things are stacked against you right now, it's all going to work out. Um, don't stress too much. What you need will be provided. There's just a need to be, you know, responsible this week, okay? Um, be mindful. Um, so be mindful of overspending, be mindful of any sort of frivolous kind of spending or anything like that. Interesting. Uh, let's see what else we have for Aries. Portal. We have portal. Yeah. 
So I feel for Aries that you guys, your energy is kind of being cleared out. Um, your bank account may be reflecting this, being very drained um, financially, even maybe emotionally, mentally, um, kind of all of the old energies kind of being ripped away in order to build a new lifestyle or a new life system for you. Wow. So Aries is going through quite a transformational week here, um, but there is a message like don't stress out too much. Um, your bank account especially is going to be reflecting the transformations occurring in your life this week. So um, if it's being drained, it's because it's making room for this victory, for this win, for this success, okay? Um, let's get some tarot, Aries. Let's get some tarot. We have the Fool. Yeah, new beginnings. That's the portal energy. You guys are, are, are putting one foot into this portal here this week. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. More positive change here. Breaking free from certain um, struggles, from certain cycles. Um, Aries, there is like this energy of needing to take a risk or really stepping out on faith here, a leap of faith kind of energy. So even if you feel like, um, you know, if you do this, it's going to be very risky or there's a possibility that you might lose some finances or, um, you know, however that kind of works out for you, there's still a need to take that step. So Aries taking a step into um, change into this portal. And then we have the two of elixirs coming out. So for some of you guys, this could definitely have to do with um, relationships as well or be very connected to relationships for you as well. Um, there is an emphasis on some sort of unity coming in here. For Aries, for some of you, you may be meeting a person, um, but for the collective of Aries, there's like this energy of connecting to happiness by the end of this week in some way shape or form or like some sort of relief um some of you guys may be signing on a new contract or starting a new job or um you know having this money come in by the end of this week here that's really going to help you kind of lift your spirits and connect to a higher vibration um, so there is a big message here for Aries to really be mindful of getting stuck in a consciousness of lack, okay? Because what you need is going to be provided, Aries, even though it may seem scary. It may seem like you're not going to have enough. Um, that's the biggest message coming through here. You're, you're stepping through a portal, and what you need will come when you need it, okay? So let's pull you one final message, Aries, one final message for the week ahead. And we have the green man. Embrace your wildness. So don't hold back. Don't hold yourself back out of fear of loss or fear of lack or uh, fear of not having enough or poverty mentality. Don't hold yourself back, Aries. Um, what you need will be, will be provided as long as you are making moves in alignment with your highest good. Okay? So, um, you know, that, that means really don't take steps or moves irresponsibly or um, being very drastic or dramatic with what you're trying to do all at once, but kind of like baby steps energy here um, and embrace this new expansive energy that you guys are being prepared for. So this is what I'm seeing from a beautiful Aries souls for the week ahead. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please do hit that like button. Again, feel free to watch any other signs or titles that you feel called to at this time for any additional messages. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful Taurus souls, and welcome to your weekly forecast reading. We are looking at the week ahead. We are looking at May 22nd through the 28th for you. Um, I do ask if this resonates with you, please do hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think of these weekly readings. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do also invite you to watch any other signs that you feel called to at this time or any other major placements that you may have in your birth chart. Um, don't restrict yourself. Uh, definitely allow yourself to receive the messages meant for you. And this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not.
let's get into your reading Taurus and see what you can expect for the week ahead the overall energy for my beautiful Taurus souls for the week ahead here we have the all father coming in so there is a sense of almost power or even control coming in so for some of you guys this could be a very positive thing for some of you this may be more of a toxic energy that you're experiencing through this um week ahead but let's see a little deeper into this what is this all father energy and how it's going to be affecting taurus restriction okay so that pretty much um answered that question for us taurus there is this energy of control, whether this is your own control, um, needing to control situations or needing to control the way things happen that is causing restriction and not allowing you to expand or to grow in the way that you're needing to. Or for some of you, this could be somebody placing this control or restricting you in some way, shape or form, telling you you aren't allowed to or that you can't um, or making you believe that... Uh, you have to like obey in some way so some of you guys may be experiencing some toxic energy through this week some of you are needing to become more aware of your own kind of control issues and where and how that plays out for you in your life and how that maybe uh, restricts you and restricts your perception in particular especially with the all father here this is this is odin this is uh you know the like omnipresent type energy here um all seeing so what is it that you are blocking out or not allowing yourself to see about yourself or about your current situation taurus we also have joyful muse with inspiration um which is interesting because here with the restriction, we have joy guides. So for a lot of you guys, these control issues or this control that is being presented to you or this toxicity that's being presented to you is restricting your creativity in particular. It's not allowing you to be inspired. It's not allowing you to create. It's not allowing you to feel that joy that helps you create, um, as well as for some of you guys, you may be really restricting or controlling your creative abilities or talents based off of your mood. Um, so you may only allow yourself to create from a specific energy within you from happiness or from joy um, instead of allowing yourself to use it as an, a form of expression. Um, and that's something I'm seeing here for my beautiful Taurus souls. Um, you're being asked to use this as a form of expression, um, expressing other emotions or other energies within you instead of trying to control what you allow to be expressed from yourself interesting so let's pull another card Taurus we have learn yeah so you guys are really being asked to learn how you control or restrict yourself or even how other people may kind of reflect that energy back to you in some way shape or form So Taurus, we also have Venus moving into the sign of Taurus, I believe on the 28th, so at the end of this week ahead of us, which I feel by the end of this week, you guys are going to be learning how to feel much more comfortable in your own skin um, by learning what makes you feel uncomfortable, by recognizing the emotions or the energies um, that you don't allow yourself to feel or express. Where do you hold yourself back, Taurus? That's a big message here. Where do you hold yourself back? Or where do you allow others to hold you back? Um, let's get some tarot, Taurus. We have the Six of Elixirs. So, Taurus, there's something here with the mind in particular, um, with learn and the all father, with the wisdom and the control and the kind of um, all sight kind of energy coming in here. Um, but here we have this this chain and this lock around the the mind. Um, 
so there's something here with not allowing yourself to learn or understand your own emotions, Taurus. Um, or maybe you're stuck emotionally in the past somewhere that's really causing blockages within your perception and how to move forward. Um, so a lot of this energy coming to light this week for you. We have strength coming out. Um, yeah, so I really feel for you guys that there's like some sort of strength, some sort of courage being instilled in you, some sort of power being instilled in you to overcome like it's it's becoming stronger the the will to push through this blockage or through this restriction or to break free from it the desire for that is becoming stronger than the fear of that so um your desire your inspiration your power almost your internal power your willpower is becoming stronger than your fear this week Taurus which is awesome um, I feel like that's also going to kind of pull you out of the past in some aspect. We also have the chariot. Yeah, um, movement. So there's definitely a pulling yourself out of the past, out of past energies, out of um, past emotional patterns, out of um, this energy of remembering when or remembering like there's something here, Taurus, where you guys maybe have lived in this illusion of how things used to be and how you can only experience it in the way you did once in your past. Otherwise, it isn't fulfilling. Um, so there's something here where you guys are realizing that you're restricting yourself by believing you can no longer have what it is you feel like you lost. Um, because it doesn't happen in the same exact way. Interesting. So letting go of control in the way things happen or in the way you feel specific emotions, Taurus. Interesting. Let's pull you one final message, Taurus, for your week ahead. Any last guidance or advice? Um, becoming much more aware of your emotional body and how that maybe restricts or blocks your perception or your ability to see clearly, to think clearly. Um, to expand, to grow, and uh, releasing the sense of control that either you have to control the way things happen or releasing any sort of control that's been placed upon you. We have the walker on the wind. The raven shows the way. Be courageous. Change and chance can bring exciting wonders. Yeah, so there is a sense of change, a sense of excitement, inspiration coming back in here for you guys um, by being courageous enough to break free from whatever is controlling you, whether it be yourself or somebody else or your environment, your situation, codependencies, whatever it is, making the decision to break free this week, Taurus. But this is what I'm seeing for you guys. If you enjoyed this, please do hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know how this resonated for you. Let me know what you think of these weekly readings. Uh, feel free to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or any other titles that you feel called to at this time. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Gemini souls and welcome to your weekly forecast reading. We are looking at what you can expect for the week ahead. This is May 22nd through the 28th um, and we are going to be looking at the overall energy uh, how it may impact you, what you can expect, and any guidance or advice that Spirit has for you in regards to this. So I do invite you to like this video if you resonate with this or if you enjoy this reading. Um, also, feel free to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or any other placements or titles that you feel called to at this time, Gemini. So coming into your reading, the overall energy is the Helm of Awe, which is very powerful protection coming in here for you guys. Protection through a battle, protection through some sort of conflict for Gemini coming in this week. So feeling very shielded, very guided, very protected is going to be something that you notice through this week ahead. Gemini, there's something here where it's almost like Either you're just going to completely like deflect um, or even kind of just um, disperse conflict um, just by being present. Just your energy alone is going to kind of keep conflict at bay. 
as well as for some of you guys there is like this sense of protection to where the words of other people or the situations that maybe you're experiencing don't impact you in the way that you expect them to um it isn't it isn't as painful or it isn't as impactful um as maybe it used to be or as you expected it to be so a lot of protection coming in for gemini a lot of protection protection from conflict protection from uh harm protection from other people's drama or gossip or anger even let's get some more cards for gemini loss protection from loss um, protection from It's almost like protection from unhappiness here. The bottom of the deck, we have discontent. So what I'm really feeling, Gemini, is like the sense of protection from anything that is like ill-wishing. Um, it may kind of cause some people or some energies or some situations to be stripped from your life. It may cause you to feel like you've lost a friend or you've lost a connection or you've lost interest in something or someone, Gemini. But um, just know that anything that is shed away or cut off or um, like energetically disconnected from you this week is done so as a form of protection for you. Um, even though it may sting a little bit, again, it's like um, it's not going to hurt as bad as you expect it to. Or as bad as you would have thought it would. We have Root Girl, the disowned self. Yeah. Um, we have time to replenish with the empty well on the bottom of the deck. So, Gemini. Uh, I feel like for you guys, there is this sense of protection from anything that causes you to feel like you have to hide any part of yourself. Anything or anyone who makes you feel like you aren't good enough or makes you feel like you can't be who you really want or need to be um, anybody or anything that causes you to live outside of anything but your truth and anything outside of your authenticity is being cut off gemini wow and then we have taboo yeah so for a lot of you guys um people may be looking at you like you're the black sheep of the family or even maybe disowning you it may be looking like other people are leaving you behind but really what's happening is you guys are being divinely guided and protected from people who will make you live outside of yourself or from people who make you feel less than or from people who are going to cause you to live in a lower vibration or people who are going to cause you to be in certain situations or energies that cause you to lose yourself um wow so very powerful energy gemini coming in here very powerful energy let's get some tarot for you gemini and go a little deeper into what you can expect this week we have the Empress coming out in reverse. And what I'm really seeing here, Gemini, is the sense of really letting go of this mask that you have created to hide yourself. Um, and we have Temperance. Yeah, there is a balancing here uh, coming in for Gemini, a healing Um a neutralization almost it's like uh any threat is being neutralized for gemini wow and then we have the magician holy crap gemini major major energy major manifestations major creation coming in here really coming into control of self instead of allowing others to dictate control or manipulate you in any way shape or form we then have the nine of elixirs coming out here yeah, there are wishes coming true. There are blessings coming in. There is happiness coming in for Gemini this week. So what I'm really feeling here for you guys is like this sense of wish fulfillment. But before this wish comes in or this happiness or this fulfillment comes in, anything that threatens that happiness is being cut off. And um, for some reason, I felt the need to keep going with the tarot for you guys. So we'll just roll with it. We have the five of blades. Yeah, there is a neutralization of anybody or anything that wants to take from you just because you have more than them. So anybody you may be jealous or like secretly 
wanting to like take anything from you or feeling competitive or feeling like they have something to hold over your head like all that shit's going Gemini and then we have death look at that yep you guys are going through major transformations and major shifting and changing in regards to the way you interact with other people and how other people maybe influence or impact you as well as like I feel you guys leveling up and anybody who isn't meant to go to that next level with you is being shed or falling away this week. So you may experience some relationships um, come into conflict or arguments or um, maybe people getting mad or lashing out for you for no apparent reason, just conflict arising out of thin air. Um, just know that if that happens, that is um, your guidance and your protection showing you where there is no actual connection to hold on to like where to neutralize the threat at interesting so one final message for gemini here we have the honey mother sometimes the greatest magic lies in the smallest of forms so there's definitely some sort of magic manifestation fulfillment coming in for you guys even if you don't see it right away or even if it comes in in a different form than what you expected but this is what i'm seeing for my beautiful gemini souls if you enjoyed this if it resonated with you please hit that like button comment down below let me know what you think of these readings don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and again feel free to check out any other major placements or titles that you feel called to at this time i thank you guys so very much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye Hello, my beautiful Cancer souls, and welcome to your weekly forecast reading. We are looking at the week ahead and looking at what you can expect, what energies are going to be present, how they may impact you, and any guidance or advice that Spirit has for you for this week ahead. And this is from the 22nd of May to the 28th. Uh, but if you find yourself here at some other time, that's totally fine too. That just means that there's probably messages here for you. So let's go ahead here, Cancer and get into your reading we are going to start off with some overall energies um, or the major energies for cancer wow we have slip near okay um so cancer there is this sense of movement um even something speeding up for you through this week which um, I feel it could be very positive for a lot of my cancers here. For some of you, it may feel kind of overwhelming or um, even maybe too fast is kind of how this is coming through here. So there is a need to kind of be mindful of uh, acting like... It's almost like trying to charge through certain things. So some of you guys may be trying to outrun something or outrun some sort of feeling or emotion or energy this week. So that is something to be aware of. But there is this overall sense of things speeding up where they felt like they were stagnant or slow moving. Um, for some of you guys, this is very kind of in regards to your your mindset, your perception, there's just things changing, I feel. I'm dropping cards here. Um, so let's go ahead and pull another message for Cancer here and see for Cancer about the week ahead, what is changing. Wow, yeah, see, there's the, there's the change again. We have death coming out here. And this doesn't mean like physical death or somebody dying necessarily for cancer here. But what this means is this essence of transformation and of change and transition into a new phase of life for cancer. So this week feels very significant. Something is changing in a very powerful way um, for cancer. And that's going to happen differently for everybody as this is a general reading. But there's definitely some major changes happening. Um, and they may happen quite quickly um, for cancer here. So this could be a choice to end something, to end a relationship, to end a perception, to end a cycle um, that really allows you some sort of freedom to end an addiction or some sort of codependent energy coming to an end for some of you guys. Wow. Let's pull another card for cancer. 
We have the Vanishing Mirror, Ego Sublimination. Uh, so there's some sort of illusion coming to an end here, shattering. There's some sort of like shattering of the stories that you tell yourself or that other people are telling you, or there's just something here about being able to see through the bullshit, Cancer. Um, wow. <laughs> okay. So seeing the truth here somewhere that is causing you to move in a new way, to move in a different way um, than what you normally would or have been. Cancer. That's the energy of your week ahead here. There is an illusion being dissolved for you guys. Um, whether this illusion is an illusion that you live in with your own ego or being able to see through somebody else's kind of ego or even nar narcissism. Uh, look at this. We have Banish. Cancer. You guys are saying no to something this week. There's something coming in here for cancer where you're being able to see the truth of it and you're able to protect yourself from this toxicity, however this toxicity tries to come through for you. Making a choice to end a cycle, to end a codependency, to end an addiction, to end any toxicity or narcissism that you are being impacted or influenced by cancer. Wow, so very powerful, very powerful ending almost coming in here for cancer. Wow. Let's get some tarot for cancer for the week ahead we have death coming out again look at that you guys um major major changes some of you guys may be dealing with a scorpio or have some very heavy scorpio activations happening within your own birth chart um eighth house energies we also have the four of elixirs which talks about everything that's been numb to you or what you've been using to numb yourself. So again, there is a heavy energy here of really ending an addiction or a codependency of some sort. But for cancer, the overall message coming in here for this week ahead is the ending of the way you used to feel about something or the way you used to like possibly even ignore something or ignore the way that things were ignoring the way that things were really um i really feel for you guys here that you've been like very subdued you have been holding yourself back you've been biting your tongue you've been um kind of numbing out any emotional pain or anything like that um maybe that other people have been like impacting you with uh but there's an ending to that it's like you guys are ripping the band-aid off of something here and choosing to feel everything choosing to see everything and choosing to accept the truth of a certain situation or person or relationship this week wow so it's like someone's just turning a light switch on for you guys wow and then we have judgment yeah, you guys are choosing to let something go, to let something end within your life, no longer fighting for it, no longer making excuses for it, no longer allowing it to control you or to impact you, to influence you, no longer allowing it to cause any stagnancy emotionally or mentally. Um, wow. Wow. And then we have the fool. So we have one door closes, another one opens. There's that movement. There's that first step into this new phase of life, into this new chapter for cancer. Wow. Wow, you guys. You are, this week is like a transitional period for you. Um, and then we have the queen of elixirs coming out. So again, there is a flow. There is like a breakthrough emotionally here where before you felt numb. And then we have the three of coins coming out. Um... So there's definitely some truth being revealed and there's also a clarity in regards to who or what you want to be connected to moving forward or how you want to work. Um, potentially for some of you, maybe coming into a new relationship, um, specifically like a business partner kind of relationship is coming in for some of you guys by the end of this week that's going to allow you to move forward with certain plans or desires. Let's pull you one final message, Cancer, one final message. Um, 
from your guides, any last guidance or advice or anything else they want you to see here. So we have the Troll Fae. Follow the secret signs at treasures, as treasures can be found where you least expect them. Um, so there's definitely like this essence of going outside of the norm here for Cancer um, this week. At the bottom of the deck, we have keep going. Trust in yourself. You have all you need. So that's a message to really hold on to and kind of try to imprint into your subconscious mind cancer to keep going don't allow anything to stop you or hold you back or make you feel bad for the choices that you're making do what's right for you and know that when you get outside of your comfort zone you're going to come into some very beautiful energy okay um, but this is what i'm seeing for you guys if you enjoyed this reading if it resonated with you if it brought you value please do hit that like button comment down below let me know uh, how this resonates for you. Let me know how your week goes and what other readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to watch your sun, moon, rising, Venus or any other signs that you feel called to at this time. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Leo souls, and welcome. Welcome to your weekly forecast reading. We are looking at what you can expect for the week ahead, and this reading is for May 22nd through the 28th. Um, but depending on when you're here, you know, these messages are meant for you when you find them. But Leo, uh, I do invite you to like this video if this resonates with you, um, and to watch any other major placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other signs or titles that call out to you at this time. So don't restrict yourself or hold yourself back. Um, and uh, let me know down below what you think of these weekly forecast readings or any other readings you would like to see. Let's go ahead and get into this for you, Leo, and see what you can expect for the week ahead. So here we have Huggin and Munnin coming out for you guys. Um, and I really feel for you guys that this is this is about being able to uh, predict something or see something that hasn't yet happened. So for Leo, there is a need to be aware of like, I'm almost seeing this for you guys, is this week is going to reveal how a certain energy or a certain environment or a certain relationship is going to unfold in the future and you're really being asked to be aware of this and to, um, to see it. So Leo being asked to really tune into your intuition and to your guides and really coming into a sense of trust and acting from that trust this week. Interesting. Um, because it's like you guys are learning something about the future this week that other people may not be able to see or understand. Um, but you're going to be able to see it. You're going to be able to see how certain events or situations or relationships are going to unfold in some way, shape, or form. And for some reason, that's important for you. So let's see, Leo, what else do we have here? We have discontent. Um, so... Leo, I feel for you guys that you're really being asked to see what causes disruption in a particular relationship or situation. What causes things to go off track? Like, it's, it's almost like, Leo, you guys are being asked to pinpoint the turning point of this relationship or situation, um, potentially to keep it on track or to be able to see why you can't keep it on track. That's going to be different for everybody here, but that's very interesting. Very interesting energy coming in for Leo here. Um, really being asked to tap into that third eye energy and to trust what you're being asked to do with the information you're seeing. Um, so for a lot of you guys, what I'm really feeling is for the majority of you here, this is about seeing where things are going to be derailed. Um, being able to see where problems are going to arise or where um, things are going to take a turn for the worse. And depending on your situation, there is a need to either prevent the situation from happening or um, maybe even present, prevent the situation from happening by ending something sooner. Um, interesting. Let's see what else we have here for Leo. 
We have Galactic Mushroom, the Divine Matrix. Yes, you guys, there is this essence of being able to tap into the matrix, being able to understand how things happen, when they're going to happen, and what you can do to kind of alter that is a big energy here for you guys. Um, wow. Wow. We also have moon magic. So there is a breaking of a cycle that you guys are being asked to to kind of tap into here, regardless of how that comes through for you, as that's going to be different for everybody. There's also something here about really tapping into the energies of certain situations and really kind of getting familiar with the patterns of like high and low energies or of like this roller coaster energy that you may be experiencing or that is coming your way. Interesting. Um, very fascinating reading, Leo. So this week is all about trusting your third eye, trusting what you're seeing, trusting what you're feeling, and trusting what you're being asked to do about these things to maybe... It's almost like you're being asked to alter your future in some way, shape, or form, which is very, very interesting. We have the Seven of Wands, Seven of Rods coming out here, or the Seven of Wands, um, which talks about kind of being on your guard or having your guard up. So, Leo, I feel like you guys are being asked to protect yourself from some sort of disruption that um, there's potential for here. And we have the Nine of elixirs coming out or the nine of cups yeah so there is a need to defend your happiness this week um by recognizing i feel like by recognizing what isn't going to bring you happiness in the future or how things are going to turn kind of sour in the future interesting three of coins what are you collaborating with or who are you collaborating with or what are you trying to work with here um, there's something for, especially with the muses coming through here for Leo, there's something here about being very aware of how, when there's other people involved, how things are going to unfold or impact you and your happiness. Like that is the biggest message here for Leo, um, is, is really being aware of that, which is very, very interesting. And we have the world coming out. Yeah, so for some of you guys, there is a need for closure in something, a need for an ending here in order to start over or to start new or to start fresh. Um, wow, and then we have death coming out. Um, yeah, so there's a need to see how something's going to end, how something's going to end up. And then we have the eight of coins coming out on the three of coins. So there's really a need to study it's almost like to study the matrix or to study the universe, to study um, the patterns in your life here, Leo, to see how something is going to end. And depending on what that is for you and how that's going to happen, there's a need to like take action um, to alter this or to make it happen in a different way. That's very interesting. I don't think I've ever had a reading come through like this before. Um, let's pull you one final message, Leo. Any last guidance or advice from Spirit in regards to the week ahead for you? Um, I'm almost seeing this as like something happening. If you don't, you know, try to alter things or change things or whatever, it's almost like whatever happens here, it's, it's this energy of, I knew that was going to happen. It's, uh, you guys already know how something's going to happen or how something's going to end or how something is going to end up. You already know. Um, and there's a need to really look into that for some reason for Leo here. And we have She of the Mossy Bray. Not all things are as they seem. Trust your intuition. You guys, I can't even make this up. Not all things are as they seem. Trust your intuition. Um, so that is your message for this week ahead for Leo. Very, very interesting energy coming in for you guys. Um... So go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. Feel free to watch your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any other titles that you feel called to at this time, Leo. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to hear back from you at the end of the week and see how this turned out for you as well. Uh, thank you guys so very much for joining me here, and I will see you all next time. Bye. 
Hello, my beautiful Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, welcome. Welcome to your weekly forecast. Uh, thank you so much for joining me here today. We are looking at what you can expect from May 22nd to the 28th, uh, but whenever you find yourself here is when these messages are for you. Um, I do invite you to like this video if you enjoy this. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of these readings. Uh, and feel free to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other titles that you feel called to at this time for my beautiful Virgo souls. Um, and consider subscribing if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post future videos. So let's go ahead here, Virgo, and get into your cards. Starting off, coming into your reading, I do have to just say there was a huge sense of confusion or distraction and a need for, like, focus. So that may be something that you guys are experiencing coming into this week ahead or throughout this week ahead. Um, but I did just want to kind of touch on that. But let's go ahead here, Virgo. And get you some cards for the week ahead. So starting off, we have Filga. And this is this kind of sense of... Almost like fortune telling or even like spirituality for... Hmm, for Virgo and there's we also have the runes coming out that um, flipped over with that which I feel goes very very good with that card because there is this sense of being able to kind of discern the energy coming your way Virgo it's very interesting coming into your reading here there's something about almost like divination practices or being able to read energy or picking up on um, some energy that's bringing forth some information about how to move forward. So there's like something coming in for Virgo that is trying to bring you into focus, that's trying to lead you through the confusion or the fog that maybe you're experiencing right now. Let's get another card for Virgo. We have competition. Um, so this may be the kind of distraction here. There's something here for Virgo where you're feeling like, maybe feeling like you aren't good enough or like you have to fight for your spot or your position or feeling very distracted by other people's success even or by other people in general depending on your situation. So there's something here about needing to see through this illusion or this confusion in regards to like this comparison energy, Virgo. What are you comparing yourself to and why are you holding it at such a high regard in regards to like your own path in your own life? Um, interesting. Let's go ahead here, Virgo. What are you comparing yourself to? Why do you feel the need to compare yourself to this or to anything? Wow. So we have the horseman coming in with the herald of change. So Virgo, the only thing you should be competing with your with the only thing you should be competing with is yesterday. Is, is being better than you were yesterday. Not with anybody else, not with this idea or this illusion of what you feel like you should be at this point in time in your life. So there's something here about really desiring a change or desiring something to be going in a different way for Virgo. Um, and it's almost like you're, you're punishing yourself for the fact that you haven't made it far enough or you haven't done something good enough there's there's just this energy of being very hard on yourself here virgo um but i do see for you guys here that by the end of the week there's going to be something coming in that allows you it's almost like a catalyst for change what what is it that is going to allow change in your life is it giving yourself permission for that change we have learned yeah so there's definitely some wisdom some like spiritual wisdom, some spiritual insight, some almost like uh, knowledge of the future and your past that are coming together here that's going to allow you to move forward in a new way um, that's going to allow change to occur within your life instead of causing you to compete with others or trying to be better than other people. Um, so there's like a change in why you're doing certain things or what you're doing certain things for 
happening here for Virgo. Wherever you find yourself doing anything out of the spirit of competition or out of this need to be better than or out of this need for people to see you in a specific light, that is changing. Um, let's get you some tarot, Virgo. We have the Eight of Rods coming out here. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of spiritual kind of messages, communication coming in in a very big way for you guys. Very big way. Um, being very divinely guided. We have the Three of Rods allowing you to step outside of how you would normally move. Allowing you to step outside of this kind of boxing ring even like allowing you to explore how to do things for a new reason or for a new purpose instead of just needing to be better than or just needing to be seen as the best um then we have the ace of rods coming out so new life new energy new new energy we have the herald of change here there is a lot of new kind of energy coming in for virgo by the end of this week um this desire to step outside of your current routine your current structure the way you always do things or the reason why you always do things changing for you guys um we have the five of blades and there's that kind of competition that need to uh be the loudest or that need to cut the deepest even for some of you guys that is changing for you um and then we have the 10 of elixirs coming out yeah so you guys are being led towards a sense of new emotional fulfillment instead of just desiring to be better than somebody else um interesting and then we have the two of rods coming out here virgo which is telling me that there is this hesitancy to this change um, because this is the way you've always done things because this is the reason why you've always done things or maybe this was always your motivation was to be better than or to to be seen as better than um, that that is changing and it is causing some hesitation just because it's it's uncomfortable it's new it's a, a new way of doing things coming in for you and you know there may be some doubt surrounding it or some resistance to it but there's really a need virgo to kind of um, embrace it as best you can okay uh, embrace the changes coming in as best you can embrace the self-awareness as best you can some of you guys moving into a new job or a new position within your job um that is coming in here quite strongly um and, and maybe that causes fear within you because you're used to being maybe at the top of the totem pole in your in your current job or um, maybe you're moving into a field that you've never worked in before so you don't feel adequate enough to do that. There's just something here where you guys are moving into a new position where you there's room to learn, there's room to grow, but you feel... It's almost like you feel a lot of doubt or a lack of self-esteem or confidence surrounding this because you don't know everything, Virgo. Um, but let's pull you one final card here. There's a need to, to put yourself in positions where there is room for growth and room for learning here in order to create expansion for Virgo. That's the message coming through. But let's pull you one final message. Any last guidance or advice for Virgo for the week ahead for Virgo? We have here seed spells. Create your story. It is the most potent form of magic. So Virgo being asked to create your story instead of living from expectations or from this need to be at the end of your story already out of this need to be the best or this need to be seen in this specific light there's a need to like there's a an essence of like starting over or being reborn or starting something new for Virgo this week and you get to create that story you get to determine how that story goes and what happens within that so Allow yourself to be open to learn. Allow yourself to be open for growth instead of keeping yourself in a position where you already know everything or where there is no room for movement, okay? Uh, but this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful Virgo souls. If you enjoyed this reading, please do hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. Uh, feel free to watch your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any other signs that you feel called to at this time. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! 
Hello, my lovely Libra souls, and welcome to your weekly forecast reading. We are looking at May 22nd through the 28th, and uh, we are looking at what you can expect. So, Libra, I do invite you that if you enjoy this reading or if it resonates with you, please do hit that like button. Um, and feel free to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other signs or titles that call out to you at this time. And consider subscribing if you haven't already, okay? So let's go ahead here, Libra, and get into your reading and see what you can expect from the 22nd through the 28th. We have Huggin and Munnin coming out here. There is a need for Libra here to... Wow, interesting. So I think it was Leo that came through with this energy as well, this need to... Uh, a little bit different way, but Libra, uh, a need to predict where conflict is going to arise. A need to be able to see where conflict is going to arise for you in your life, in your relationships, in your environment, in your job. That's going to be different for everybody here, but there's something here about really needing to be very insightful and really needing to be able to see where the conflict is at or how this conflict is uh, kind of happening. Interesting. This could be conflict within yourself, Libra. Wow, we have deprivation. Yeah, so prosperity guides. Um, the bottom of the deck, we have suffering. So Libra, there's something here this week where you guys are going to be able to see how or where you deprive yourself and how that creates conflict within your environment, within your life. Uh, within yourself, there is definitely some sort of conflict or some sort of friction, some sort of tension point here for Libra, where you are sacrificing yourself or holding yourself back um, or depleting yourself that is going to create conflict outside of you. Interesting. There's been a couple of these readings that are just absolutely like fascinating to me this week. So a lot of very interesting, kind of fascinating energies happening this week uh, for the collective. But let's see here, Libra. We have Fortune's Wheel, Luck and Right Timing, which is very interesting, especially with these prosperity guides here. So there is a message here as well, Libra, to be sure that this... Okay, so really what I'm seeing is this conflict um, arises within yourself when there is something you desire, something you want, something you need, but you don't get out of fear of lack. Um, you guys may be trying to manifest prosperity or abundance or money at this time. And Spirit here is saying there is a need to go after what you want. Um, don't deprive yourself from what you want because it's when you deprive yourself that the poverty takes control or that the lack arises within you, okay? So there's a big need to be aware of that, Libra. Um, where are you holding yourself back out of fear of lack? Because that is what is keeping your manifestations from coming in here, okay? I also see for Libra that some of you may be coming into some sort of luck or windfall here this week or having some sort of like win or victory success raise some sort of financial um, burden being lifted or financial assistance coming in in some way shape or form wow and then we have guide um, which I see here with like Huggin and Munnin as well. There's definitely something here, Libra, where you guys are being guided to purchase certain items even, to put your money in specific places, which I feel is why this message is coming through here to not hold yourself back in regards to that because it's like this right timing like your guides are instructing you and trying to help you put your money in the right places put your resources and your time and energy in the right places to align you to your abundance and to your manifestations interesting libra let's go ahead here we have the knight of elixirs coming out yeah, see, there is something here that is um, trying to, with the fertility tonic, it's like there's something here, Libra, that is almost trying to be fertilized, trying to, like, begin the growth process. Interesting. We then have the high priestess. Wow, Libra, there is a lot of spiritual guide type energy coming in here. Um, a lot. A lot of higher perspective, a lot of higher 
divine timing coming in for you guys. Wow. Then we have the six of blades, or I'm sorry, the four of blades. Um, so there is a need to not overthink certain things, not allow yourself to kind of talk yourself out of putting your energy or your resources or your time into a specific area. A lot of you guys may be really wanting something that um, means a lot to you or has something to do with like your business or your career or your creative projects but you're not allowing yourself to have it and telling yourself that you don't have enough or that it's going to take away from something that you need or it's going to cause lack or um, something like that and there's really a need to come out of that mentality to come out of the poverty mentality Libra um, this week we then have the two of rods. Yeah, so there is like this resistance, this hesitancy to this new way forward for you guys. Really what I'm seeing here is to go for it, Libra. To go after what you want, to get what you want, to put your time, energy, and resources into what you want this week without talking yourself out of it. There's a big message here about depriving yourself out of fear of not having um, and really you're creating that deprivation within yourself by not allowing yourself to have it and then we have the nine of blades yeah see there's that overthinking that anxiety that stress um, the sleeplessness insomnia the the overthinking the convincing yourself that you don't have enough or that you shouldn't do this because you aren't worthy of these things or whatever it is that you tell yourself there's like excuses there's just energy here where you talk yourself out of the guidance you're being given Libra and there's a big message to become aware of that this week um, and then we have the six of elixirs so there is definitely some it's almost I want to say like experiments coming to an end here <laughs> which is very interesting Libra Libra but what I mean by that is like the sense of trial and error coming to an end here whatever that means for you like certain things that you've been trying that maybe haven't been working out or certain ways of living or trying new things in different projects or in different areas of your life like that is coming to a close and you are like getting more focused and more clear on your path forward um interesting and it's like everything that you're being guided through this week is um helping you like create this path this specific path so there's alignment ha happening for you here Libra and there's really a need to become aware of whether or not you're resisting this alignment um, in some way shape or form by depriving yourself of the things you're being called to okay um, so let's pull you one final message Libra one final message any last guidance or advice um, from spirit that you need to see in regards to the week ahead we have away we fly take the cloud roads delight in your imagination so libra delight in your imagination find happiness and comfort in the magic that is coming in for you and in the guidance that is coming in for you instead of getting stuck in your head or in this lack or in this fear of lack okay um so this is what i'm seeing for you guys if you enjoyed this reading please do hit that like button comment down below let me know what you thought of this uh feel free to watch your sun moon rising venus or any other signs or titles that you feel called to at this time uh, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you guys so very much for joining me here today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful Scorpio souls, and welcome to your weekly forecast reading. Uh, today we are looking at the week ahead, and this is May 22nd through the 28th, but if you come across this video at another time and feel called to it, that's when these messages are for you. So, Scorpio, I do invite you here before we get started to, uh, you know, watch any other major placements or titles that you feel called to so that you receive all of the messages that you are meant to receive. So your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other uh, signs that may be calling out to you at this time. I do also ask you to like this video if you resonate with this or if you enjoy this reading. Um, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. So Scorpio, let's get into your reading here and see what you can expect for your week ahead for my beautiful Scorpio souls. Coming into your reading while I was shuffling the cards, there was a few things coming through 
uh, some of it did feel kind of heavy. It was like, um, like the one statement that really stuck out to me was to change the voices in your head. So there's something here, Scorpio, about changing the storyline or changing the story you're telling yourself or that you're living in, okay? So we have the village coming out for you guys, and uh, this is... I feel for Scorpio talking about your sustainability. Um, so for some of you, this could have to do with like your your job, your sustainability, your survival. Um, for some of you guys, this could have to do with like your home life um, and what you are connected to or who you are connected to. So for Scorpio here, there may be a strong emphasis on like relationships with a spouse or a partner or with anybody that lives within the same household for you. Or this could have to do with your workplace environment or connections as well. For some of you, it may be both um, being very highlighted through this week. Um, but let's go ahead here, Scorpio, and see why these connections, um, why this energy is significant for you this week. So Scorpio, a uh, huge emphasis on the way you're connecting, a huge emphasis on maybe your role in the household or um, the way you live. Here we have celebration with joy guides. So there was something as well about an anniversary um, coming through here. So for some of you guys, there may be some sort of anniversary or significant date this week that is bringing in unity. Um, for some of you guys, I am getting this sense of, of celebrating something that I don't even know how to articulate this. Celebrating something that is no longer in your life. So like remembering an anniversary or a birthday of somebody who is no longer there. For some of you, this could be like a celebration of life. This could be remembering um, somebody from your home or your household or your childhood that you are no longer connected to. There's just something here for Scorpio about trying to stay connected to something that's no longer present. Interesting. Um, you know, and that's not for all of you. For some of you guys, this is an anniversary or a significant milestone or something like that this week um, that is very connected to your current life. But um, I do feel for some of you guys, you are like, it's like a sense of memory, remembering somebody or something from your past and maybe trying to keep that alive within your life now. Um, but let's see here. We have covenant, sacred contract. Okay. Okay. Um, so Scorpio, you guys are dealing with this whole contract. You guys are dealing with this whole contract this week, whether it be somebody that's immediately in your life or somebody that is no longer physically present in your life, but you still feel very connected to. Um, some of you guys, this could have to do with twin flames, soul contracts, past life energies coming back into the present. Um, some of you guys, though, there is this energy of signing like a sign-on bonus coming in here for some of you. This, If this has more to do with your job or if there's like a lot of job, I'm getting a ringing in my ear. Um, so that may be for somebody here, but there is like this sense of a, a sign-on bonus. Um, some of you guys, this could have to do with like a marriage contract, even like prenuptial agreement or... Um, Some of you, again, like this anniversary, celebrating this connection to somebody or something, or um, having a soulmate or twin flame or soul contract come back into your life in some way, shape, or form this week. Interesting. Um, but for some of you, there is a sign-on bonus, like, in regards to work coming in, either with or, like, alongside this soul contract energy. Um, but for some of you, that is the biggest energy coming through is the, the energy of the work life, um, that you are celebrating a new job or a raise or a promotion or a sign on bonus or something like that. That's really going to help you, um, significantly like sustain your home and your family. Uh, interesting. So there's like two different storylines coming in here for Scorpio. Let's pull another card here. Um, sacred space. Wow. So this has everything to do with your home life. Scorpio, even if it's job related that you're celebrating or getting a new job, like the, the reason it's so significant for you is because of the way it's going to impact your home. Um, there is something here, some sort of, we have sacred contract and we have sacred space and we have the, the village here with the home and the survival and, um, the prosperity, like the way, 
we sustain ourselves being very significant here. So Scorpio, there's definitely some energy here in regards to survival, um, what you're trying to hold on to. There's soul contract energies coming. It almost feels kind of chaotic for some of you. Like um, feeling very sporadic or chaotic kind of energy. Maybe even feeling quite distracted by some sort of energetic communication or feeling distracted from um, or even trying to separate from certain contracts that you have. Some of you guys may find that you are trying to get out of a marriage or a contract um, or leave a job here um, this week as well, depending on your situation. Um, as we know, energy is fluid and can go both ways, so just apply that how it resonates for you, Scorpio. Interesting. Let's get some tarot. Wow, we have the five of elixirs. Yeah, so there's definitely some sort of loss or lack or grief or depression that's present here for Scorpio. So this could be trying to come out of this or this could be um, really impacting the decisions that you're making right now. Uh, we also have the six of elixirs and this is that past energy coming back in for Scorpio that remembering of the past or remembering of a contract some of you guys may even be doing like past life regressions through this week or having like dreams or some sort of like remembering of past lives for some of you um, but there's definitely like this sense of Trying to move through some sort of grief or depression, trying to overcome some sort of loss, trying to overcome some form of your past um, that is influencing your present moment. Um, for a lot of you guys, I really feel a strong sense of soul contract energy coming into play here for Scorpio. I really do. Um, some of you guys may have somebody from your past coming back into your life this week in some way, shape, or form, reaching out to you, maybe even showing up at your house or at your job. And then we have the Page of Elixirs. Yeah, so there's something here about you guys being stuck in the past, in in your past of this life, or even potentially part of your soul being stuck in a past life. And it's like all of that is being pulled into your present reality now, Scorpio. Wow. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so there is a change in the emotional state. There is a change in this depression or this grief here. We have the Nine of Coins coming in with independence from your past in some way, shape, or form. And then we have the Seven of Rods coming in with this uh, kind of protection. So there is something here about like needing to try to stay stable this week, Scorpio. Um, trying to stay emotionally stable. Uh, physically stable, financially stable, not allowing your emotions to, to take off with you and cause impulsive action. So be aware of that. Let's go ahead and pull you one final message, Scorpio. One final message for the week ahead. I do feel this week ahead is going to be kind of like a roller coaster, maybe quite chaotic or sporadic or spontaneous. There may be things coming in or leaving your life that um, just seem sudden. But let's see here, Scorpio. One final message for Scorpio for the week ahead. We have the Troll Fae. Follow the secret signs as treasures can be found where you least expect them. Yeah, so there is, even though it seems very chaotic and it seems very out of place here, Scorpio, this week, it's like everything is happening here for a reason and there's a need to kind of go with the flow and not allow yourself to... Um, it's almost like not allow yourself to run away, um, whatever that means for you guys. Interesting. Um, but this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful Scorpio souls. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please do hit that like button. I do invite you to watch any other major placements or signs or titles that you feel called to uh, in the description box. And uh, I ask you to consider subscribing if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius souls, and welcome to your weekly forecast reading. We are looking at May 22nd through the 28th and what you can expect, the energies coming your way. 
So Sagittarius, I do invite you to like this video if you enjoy this reading. Uh, comment down below, let me know what sign you chose, um, and feel free to watch any other major placements or signs that you feel called to at this time. Don't restrict or limit yourself, Sagittarius. Uh, and I also ask you to consider subscribing if you have not already. So let's go ahead here, uh, Sagittarius, and get into your reading and see what you can expect for the week ahead, okay? So coming into your reading, there is a sense of influence in some way, shape, or form coming in that I just want to touch on a little bit. That was what I was picking up as I was shuffling the cards to come into your reading. Sagittarius was the sense of influence. So some of you are becoming aware of maybe the energies that trigger you to act on certain things or that influence you or persuade you in certain ways, whether it is in the way you want them to or against like your better judgment. That's going to be different for everybody. But let's see what comes comes through here for Sagittarius. Wow, we have the warrior coming through here. Um, so there's something here about resolution as well as purpose, like finding what you're fighting for or what you want to fight for, Sagittarius. Um, what what are you fighting for? That that's the that's like the question coming through with this card is like what are you fighting for? There's also a sense of resolution. So for some of you guys where there's been conflict, where there's been war, where there's been resistance, where there's been friction or tension or high energy, there is going to be like a dissolving of this. Um, and this could potentially come from like that influence, that understanding what is influencing you or triggering you to act in certain ways. So there's a sense of self-control coming in here for Sagittarius as well. But let's go ahead here. I feel like Sagittarius, you guys are coming out of this state of, of, um, always being ready to fight or always feeling like you have to defend yourself, whatever that means for you and wherever that is for you in your life. We have discipline. Yeah, master teachers coming through here. We have the divine father with new beginnings on the back of the deck. And this is heavy Saturn or Capricorn energy influencing you guys, I feel. With the divine father and this master teacher, this discipline, it's like self-discipline, self-control um, to kind of um, direct your energy into a purpose or a specific direction. And with that, it's going to create resolution in some other places that you've been in conflict with. Interesting. So a huge sense of purpose coming in here, a sense of self-discipline, really coming into that self-control and um, taking like, it's almost like taking responsibility for self. I'm seeing the Sagittarius for a lot of you guys in a sense of like, for example, if you have a, a, a business that you run from your house, this is like creating a structure and a routine and a work life, even though you're at your home and like holding yourself to these, uh, this structure. There's something here about holding yourself accountable to some sort of structure or routine. We have the first breath with beginner's mind. Yeah, so... Sagittarius, I feel for you guys that you are starting a new venture, a new project, a new idea. Um, and it's like this week is going to be learning about how to really stay in control of self instead of allowing anything to influence you otherwise or to distract you from your purpose or to take you off course. Um, I feel for Sagittarius, a lot of you guys may really struggle with boundaries or saying no or feeling like you have to be there whenever somebody invites you or whenever somebody wants you to come or whenever anybody shows up at your home or calls you there. It's like this constant sense of needing to be present for everybody else. And it's like this week that is kind of shifting where you need to be present for yourself and become more disciplined in your life and in your reality and kind of separate from needing to be present in other people's lives. Um, interesting. Sagittarius. Journey. Yeah. Um, 
And this card in this deck always brings forth Sagittarius energy for me. There is a new path, a new purpose coming in for you guys that is going to be very motivating for you. That's going to allow you to come into this discipline, this self-control, this structure without... It's almost like without needing somebody to tell you or I feel like for Sagittarius here, you guys may really struggle with um, holding yourself accountable or kind of having that self-discipline to do what needs to be done outside of like a job that's outside of your home where you have a boss that tells you when you have to show up, what you have to do, how you have to do it, um, and when you can punch out. It's like taking those principles and applying them to your life without having somebody there to tell you when and how to do something. It's taking that control over yourself and, and making yourself do the things that need to be done. Interesting. This feels very kind of entrepreneurship oriented for a lot of Sagittarius here. It really does. Um, but for all of you here, there is a new chapter, a new journey, a new purpose, new motivation coming in for you. That's going to really, it's almost like really light a fire under you um, and, and bring in some clarity about what you want to fight for, as well as some clarity about what influences you or what pulls you away from your purpose. Uh, we have the Six of Elixirs coming out. Um, so overcoming some past energy with this. Um, no longer fighting with your past with this, Sagittarius. Um, letting go of a lot of the the past energies that you are still in conflict with or that you're still holding on to or that you're still holding on to maybe anger or resentment with. Um, wow. And then we have the Three of Rods coming out here, which talks about exploring a new path, a new way forward, um, expanding your horizons, doing things that maybe you've never done before with this discipline here. And then we have the Four of Rods coming out, creating that foundation, that structure, that so there's like a solidification of something coming in for Sagittarius here this week, solidifying your purpose, solidifying your routine or structure or this self-discipline, solidifying a new habit, a new behavior that's really going to help you move forward. We have temperance coming out here, which is Sagittarius energy again. So there's definitely this huge sense of, of um, coming into self here, coming into um, some self-awareness, some self-recognition, some self-discipline, self-control, all of that stuff. We have the Ten of Blades coming out, which speaks of a closure of a cycle, especially in regards to a cycle of... Uh, I want to say like a cycle of, of relationships in particular for Sagittarius here. Um, maybe there's been a lot of different patterns in your relationships or in certain connections that you've been in. And it's like the closure of that, um, this closure of relationships where you feel like you constantly have to defend yourself or you constantly need approval or validation. Um, that energy is coming to a close in some way, shape or form. And then we have the devil, and that's that Capricorn energy, that structure, that routine, habit, behavior, pattern kind of energy, karmic energy for some coming in here like a new karmic cycle, starting a new karmic cycle by closing out old karmic energy. Um, wow, okay. So yeah, there's something here that you guys are initiating that is going to be very long-lived within your life something that you're going to fight for, something that you're going to pursue, whether this is a person or a job or a business that's different for everybody. But there is something here, Sag, through this week that is starting a new journey that is going to be present in your life for a long amount of time. It's going to be a new, a new cycle, a new pattern, new behavior, um, new purpose, uh, something that you're really wanting to go after or pursue. So that's awesome for Sagittarius. Um, there's also some, I feel like some releasing happening here, releasing of resentment or of anger or of conflict, um, like conflict resolution coming in for Sagittarius this week as well. But let's go ahead and pull you one final message, Sagittarius. One final message. Any last guidance or advice from Spirit in regards to your week ahead? 
we have the old one the ancestors call seek their wisdom okay so there's definitely like some past energy coming in here as well as this essence of connecting to like you know the master teachers connecting to mentors or to people that you look up to that energy is coming in here so maybe seeking that energy out this week for Sagittarius as well somebody that can help you move forward somebody that can help you grow and expand um and and kind of move into this new phase of your life somebody that's been there before um so yeah that is the energy that I'm seeing for my beautiful Sagittarius souls uh if this reading resonated with you or if you enjoyed this reading please do hit that like button comment down below let me know what you thought of this uh feel free to watch any other major placements or signs that call out to you at this time i thank you guys so very much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye hello my beautiful capricorn souls and welcome to your weekly forecast reading we are looking at may 22nd through the 28th I do ask you to like this video if you enjoy this reading or if it resonates with you. Uh, as well as, you know, feel free to watch any other major placements or signs that you feel called to. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or any titles that you feel called to. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. So Capricorn, let's get into your reading here and see what you can expect for your week ahead. Uh, we have the Yarrow coming out. So there is a sense of empowerment, a sense of dominance even, or control or leadership, um, depending on your situation. And we'll go deeper into this, but there is a sense of, it's almost like dominating energy here, Capricorn. Um, I do feel for some of you guys too, that there is this essence of like certain energies, karmic energies, karmic relationships, um, karmic cycles like resurfacing or being represented to you in order for you to see them from the position that you're at now um, and to kind of see where they're all connected because I feel for Capricorn there's something here about a karmic cycle or a bigger kind of cycle that you're being asked to see like the bigger picture of um, being presented to you. It's like um, now that you have kind of elevated yourself, you've gone through this growth process, you are higher vibrational kind of frequency, there's something here about needing to see something from the perspective that you're in now instead of, um, well, instead of where you were when you were experiencing it. So that's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead here, Capricorn and see what else we have coming out for you this week. Creativity, with creativity guides coming forth here. Um, yeah, so I feel like for Capricorn, there's something here about taking control or taking your power back from a certain cycle or a certain pattern, a certain habit, a certain behavior, a certain person. Um, and there's like transmutation here. I'm um, turning your pain into something else, turning your, uh, changing like your self-esteem. There's just this energy of transmutation here, um, as well as healing. Some of you guys like color therapy and art therapy may be something that's very beneficial for you as a form of expression or like really tapping into your subconscious mind to see like how certain colors impact or influence you or what kind of emotions maybe have the most control over you. Uh, interesting Capricorn. Let's go ahead here. So there is an essence of kind of like finding yourself here. We have the wall coming out with obstacles. Yeah, so Capricorn, there's definitely something here about um, seeing some some blockages, some obstacles from now that you're like at a different a different point in your life, a different perception. Like there's definitely this need to look at these obstacles, these walls, these challenges now instead of just continuing on with your life and almost like there's a sense of avoidance here so it's like 
you haven't allowed yourself to look at them since you first saw them or experienced that blockage. And now there's like this need to look back and see how you can like be creative about this and how you can transform and transmute these obstacles into something that will help you in some way, shape or form. Interesting. Um, so a lot of enlightenment, I feel, trying to come in for Capricorn this week. A lot of uh, revelations or enlightenment or kind of like aha moments. And we also have release. Yeah, there is a huge sense of releasing um, some karmic energies, releasing some blockages, moving through certain blockages, as well as letting go of things that you've been holding on to. Like if you've found that you've been holding grudges, Capricorn, that is the biggest message coming through here so far. If you've been holding grudges this week, you're going to be able to see how those grudges are holding you back from your life. Um, wow. Okay. So let's go ahead here and get you some tarot, Capricorn. We have the the King of Elixirs with Calming Tonic coming out, which is very much so like this Jarl kind of energy, um, very kind of in control, this dominating kind of energy. As well as I feel for Capricorn, there is a calming essence, like calming any sort of control issues or like dominating issues that you may hold on to as well as like the sense of healing from some sort of narcissism or toxic relationships. Um, we also have the two of coins here. Yeah, so I really feel for Capricorn that this is going to have to be a decision that you consciously make to release these energies, to release this grudge, um, or to, you know, start moving towards that instead of holding on to it as a form of protection or as the sense of control over the situation. There, there is a decision. Yeah, judgment. It is a choice that you have to make either to hold on to it or to let it go, to let it live or to let it die, Capricorn. Um... It's only, I feel like, okay, so how do I say this, Capricorn? It, it's, it's only, I don't even know how to say this. Like, I can feel it, but I can't really articulate it. It's like the sense of it, on, it's only still alive because you allow it to be, okay? Um, because you focus on it, because you hold on to it, because you tell yourself that it has that power or that control over you or that it hurt you or whatever it was. Like, it's only still there because you hold on to it in yourself. Um, we then have the two of rods here. Um, yeah, so it's almost like you guys have been waiting. Yeah, the four of coins. It's like you guys have been holding on to this waiting for them or for that energy to come back around to apologize or to fix it. It's like this person or the situation that caused you to be in any sort of discomfort, emotional discomfort, or like there's, there's just something here where you guys experience some sort of toxicity, some sort of controlling relationship or narcissism or... Um, codependency or whatever it was for you you're still holding on to it and it's like you're holding on to it as a way to convince yourself that y you can't heal until this other person or energy comes back and tells you they're sorry or comes back and fixes it or takes accountability or takes responsibility and and that is not the case Capricorn this week you're going to be presented with a lot of different energies and realizations to show you that you can let go of that without their approval or their responsibility or their apology for that matter um and then we have the seven of blades yeah so it's like you guys have been lying to yourself about why you're holding on to this there's a part of you capricorn where you're holding on to this because you don't want to accept that it is ended whatever this is for you um so there's like an acceptance of this end or of the truth of the matter the truth of how things actually played out or the truth of why you're holding on to certain things or the truth of why you're holding grudges um coming to light this week for capricorn interesting let's go ahead and pull you one final message capricorn one final message any last guidance or advice 
from spirit in regards to your week ahead. It does feel quite intense, but just know that um, what I really see here with the Jarl and the King of Cups or Elixirs here, Capricorn, is that you guys have all of the power that you need. You have all of the strength that you need to kind of release all of this stagnancy. You just have to make the choice to do so without the approval or the acceptance or the responsibility or accountability from the other party or the other energy that's involved in this. We then have the storyteller. Stories and stories are medicine, strengthening and renewing. So there is something here, Capricorn, about like telling yourself a new story. Um, what story are you telling yourself? Um, and is it is it truthful? Is it in alignment with the way you want your life to move forward? As well as there is this sense of like going back and rereading your story and finding where you left your power at and finding how you can kind of come into this empowerment here. Um, interesting. So this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful Capricorn souls. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, please do hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. Uh, again, I invite you to watch any other major placements or signs that you feel called to at this time. Uh, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful Aquarius souls, and welcome to your weekly forecast reading. We are looking at May 22nd through the 28th for you today, and um, I do ask you to like this video if you enjoy this reading or if it resonates with you, and invite you to watch any other major placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other titles that you feel called to at this time. I, ask you, I also ask you to consider subscribing if you desire to. So Aquarius, let's get into your reading here. Uh, the biggest message that I was receiving as I was shuffling the cards to come into your reading was a need to release expectations. Um, for some of you guys, these expectations are surrounding family members. For some of you, it is around um, like romantic relationships. Um, I just am really feeling like this energy of having this idea or this perception of what a mother should be or a father or what a spouse should be or um, just something like this and it's like you're expecting these people outside of you to live up to this kind of imagined version of what you thought it would be like. Um, so maybe expecting people to change or expecting people to um, kind of follow suit with what you desire them to be. There's a need to release these energies. Let's see here, Aquarius, what we have coming your way. We have the Helm of Awe. So there is a sense of protection coming forth here for you guys. And um, I feel like this protection is very much so in regards to... your relationships. Um, so that'll come through differently for everybody here, Aquarius, but there is a sense of protection in your relationships here. Let's see what else we have. Boredom. Yeah, so, okay. Um, Aquarius, there's something here where maybe you guys are expecting others to be like a constant state of entertainment for you or like maybe you had this mindset that a relationship or a marriage or family or whatever it is is supposed to be like a constant state of engagement or supposed to always be exciting. Um, and, and what I'm really seeing here, Aquarius, is the sense of protection coming in for you to help you face certain hardships or hard times or stagnant times within your relationships instead of placing expectations on them and convincing yourself that they aren't good enough. And really, it's like subconsciously that you don't want to face that they need nurturing. Um, interesting. Uh, let's go ahead here, Aquarius, and get another message. So a huge emphasis on your relationships this week for Aquarius. A huge emphasis on the energy you are putting into relationships versus what you're expecting out of them. 
spirit of the river movement toward adventure yeah um so with that again it's like the sense of protection in regards to you guys being able to step into your relationships i feel in a new way to be able to face certain challenges that may be coming in order to go through like the ups and downs of life together in order to go on a journey or an adventure together there is the sense of protecting yourself to face your own expectations of what you thought something would be and isn't um that's very interesting the bottom of the deck here we have feast of plenty with choices and their consequences so your choices uh, this week are going to be very impactful and how your relationships kind of come out of this. Um, so you can choose to see that they have lost their excitement or their spark and you can choose to release them and live with those consequences or you can choose to move towards adventure together regardless of whatever kind of relationship it is and know that you guys are protected as you move forward and face the challenges of life together. Interesting. Interesting energy coming through here for Aquarius. We have taboo. Yeah, so what I really feel here, Aquarius, is that you guys are maybe feeling very conflicted in your connections, in your relationships, feeling very conflicted about whether or not you even want to continue a specific connection or relationship. And there's really a need to go against how you would normally react to it. Like, that is the energy I'm getting here. Like, maybe you're bored in a connection and your first instinct is to just release that connection. Um, but what you're really being asked to do here is to reignite that excitement within the connection, even though that seems, like, counterproductive for you. Interesting. Let's get you some tarot. We have the Ace of Rods coming out in reverse. So this is again confirming like this sense of needing to relight the spark that has maybe gone out. Um, it is acknowledging that there is some sort of spark that has been uh, kind of extinguished here. And then we have the King of Rods coming out in reverse. Yeah, so letting go of control, letting go of expectations, letting go of the need for others to live up to what you think they should be. There is a huge sense of that here, a huge sense of feeling like people should live in a certain way or they should be a certain way or they should just know what you need or what you expect out of a relationship um, without actually having to tell them or without actually having to take action towards that. And that is being very highlighted for you this week. Um, so letting go of control, letting go of expectations. We have the page of elixirs coming out here. So really what I'm seeing here, Aquarius, is this need to allow your relationships to evolve and mature into the next phase instead of seeing the fact that this first phase of this relationship has come to a close and kind of taking that as this relationship is over. So what I'm really seeing here is this need to allow your relationships to expand and to grow and to move into adventure in the next phase of a relationship instead of taking the fact that this particular phase is over as this relationship is over. Interesting. So you guys may be dealing with some commitment issues. Of in, within yourself, a fear of commitment or a resistance to committing through the hard times in some way, shape, or form. We have death coming out. Um, yeah. So there is, you guys, it's like your relationships are at a transformational state where they can either mature and grow and expand or you can choose to let them go. And for everybody that's going to be different, um, what you actually need from this connection is going to be different. So use your own discernment there. But the biggest message here is to allow them to evolve naturally instead of trying to force them to stay in your comfort zone out of your own fear of commitment wow okay 
uh, and then we have the chariot. Yeah, movement, movement within your connections, nurturing your connections. This is like your home. This is fourth house energy, home life, whether it be mother, father, significant other, even with your children. For some, there is this need for movement within your relationships instead of trying to keep them in this box of what you think they should be. Um, and then we have the Hierophant, which speaks of that commitment. Again, committing to something or someone doesn't mean leaving as soon as things change or when times change or when you get bored. Um, so I feel for Aquarius, a big energy for you this week is learning how to push through the hard times in certain relationships, learning how to grow and evolve through the hard times through certain re relationships instead of maybe running away or leaving Wow. So let's pull you one final message, Aquarius. Huge highlight on connections and relationships, specifically parental and spouse kind of relationships. But however that resonates for you, as this is a general reading, let's pull you one final message. Any last guidance or advice? Anything else you need to see or hear for the week ahead of you? Okay. So we have the forest walker. Keep courage and be gentle, Aquarius. Keep courage, the courage to face the challenges and the obstacles and the transformational state of your relationships and be gentle. Um, there's no need to be controlling or aggressive or angry. Um, so just kind of remind yourself of that. Be gentle, be kind to yourself and to others throughout this week. Uh, but this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful Aquarius souls. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, please do hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. Uh, feel free to watch any other signs that you feel called to, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other titles that are calling out to you at this time. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful Pisces souls, and welcome to your weekly forecast reading. Uh, we are looking at May 22nd through the 28th, um, and I do invite you to hit that like button if you enjoy this reading. I also invite you to watch any other major placements um, or signs that you feel called to at this time, okay? Don't limit or restrict yourself. Um, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. So Pisces, let's get into the week ahead and see what you can expect, what energy is coming your way, how you may be impacted. We have the Valkyrie coming out here, Pisces. Um, so there is this sense of almost salvation or even comfort coming in for Pisces. So coming into your reading, I was picking up on some pretty heavy kind of stress, um, especially surrounding your financial situation, Pisces. Um, so there's something like in regards to your money or your job or, um, you know, paying bills or something like that. I feel that a lot of you guys may be stressing about or feeling very overwhelmed with. Um, and I didn't light my candle. Okay, so Pisces, you guys may be trying to kind of avoid the stress in some way, shape, or form, but I feel in this week ahead, there's some sort of like comfort coming in surrounding this for you. So let's go ahead here and get some more cards for my beautiful Pisces souls. Competition. Um, <clears throat> so Pisces. There, this is a very interesting energy coming in here. There's something here where it's like, um, it's almost like this avoidance that's coming in with this competition card. Like what is competing for your time, your energy, or your money, Pisces? This is what you're being asked to become aware of. What is competing for your money? What is competing for your time? What is competing for your energy? Like what, there's something here I feel for you guys where like you're torn between, you know, paying the bills and being responsible and just saying screw it and doing whatever you want or indulging in that fun kind of um, almost irresponsible energy. So that's very interesting. There, It's almost like you guys are being pulled in two different directions. Um, 
but the overall energy for this week ahead is like some comfort or some salvation. So I do feel like an easing of this energy coming in. We have the first breath with beginner's mind. So Pisces, you guys are being asked to start where you're at instead of where you feel like you should be or um, maybe... <sighs> Maybe you guys have a tendency to look at everything as a whole and, you know, it can be so much more overwhelming when we're like, well, I have all of my bills this month and next month and I need a place to live and I need first and last month's rent and I need a vehicle. Like, it's almost like you're looking at everything all as one whole and like you're going to, it's almost like your, your mind or your energy is reacting in this way where you feel like you need everything all at once or enough to obtain everything all at once and because you don't have that it's almost like this state of panic or stress that you're in feeling very overwhelmed and Pisces like the message for this week ahead is to start where you're at and take baby steps like there is no need to put so much pressure on yourself um, you know start with one thing um, and allow that to kind of have a snowball effect into the bigger picture. Um, wow, okay. So let's go ahead here, Pisces, and pull another card. Attraction, okay. So there's something here, Pisces, for you guys to recognize, like, you... The more you move towards this comfort, this um, easing of stress, this easing of burdens or responsibility by taking baby steps and just accomplishing what you can when you can, the more you are going to attract the ability to do that. The more you stress yourself out and kind of avoid these things, the more you're going to attract the stress or the distractions that keep you from those things. So there's a need to be aware of that this week for you guys. Really, what are you attracting? What are you what energy are you projecting? Are you ignoring responsibility? Are you avoiding responsibility? Are you stressing yourself out and putting too much pressure on your shoulders because you can't accomplish everything all at once? Um so that's a big focus point for you guys, is really finding comfort and salvation in the fact that, you know, one step towards your goal is so much better than taking steps backwards out of stress or fear of moving forward. Um, let's get some tarot. We have the Six of Rods. Yeah, see, there is definitely like an overcoming of conflict or even of competition here um like really overcoming this energy of feeling like you're being pulled in two different directions i really see for pisces like this energy of being like well i know i should be putting my time attention money resources in this specific area of my life but because i don't have enough to get to my first like major goal or that first major accomplishment i'm just going to blow it all and it's kind of like the subconscious patterning of keeping yourself in this sense of lack or poverty. Um, and there's like an easing of that here coming in for Pisces. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, see, this is changing for you guys. There's something here where your, your mind is changing and you're beginning to see things in a new way, like a new perspective, which is allowing you to see what is actually pulling you away from your goal. Um, and what you maybe have been using as like an escape mechanism. Okay. And then we have the Ace of Elixirs here. So there is new, a new emotional state coming into play here. Um, coming out of that stress, that anxiety, I feel the fear um, really easing for Pisces, which is beautiful. I love that. I love seeing that for you guys. We also have the Ten of Elixirs coming out. Um, and really what I feel with this is this sense, excuse me, the sense of it's uh I I really feel like the sense of pride. So you guys may be accomplishing something this week 
that really kind of energizes you and fills you up with an emotion that makes you want to continue moving forward. So some sort of accomplishment, some sort of goal one, some sort of step forward is really going to help motivate and excite you to keep moving forward instead of to go backwards. Um, interesting, almost like a breaking point here for Pisces. Like there's only one way up from here. Wow. And then we have the lovers coming out. Some of you guys may be um, stepping into a connection with another person or with a soulmate twin flame. But this is also a shifting in the in perception, like a shift in perception or in trust or in faith. I'm seeing here for you guys. Um, and then we have the fool. Yeah, see baby steps. One step forward is better than two steps back, you guys, okay? Um, so there is movement coming in for Pisces. There is a, an easing, a comfort, a almost like a relaxing energy um, coming in for Pisces. And a lot of you guys, there is like a, a strong emotional attraction here. Some of you guys are attracting in a romantic partner. But for others of you, this is just about using your emotional state to attract more of that same emotional state to pull you kind of out of any stress, anxiety, um, depression, or anything like that that maybe you've been dealing with or even like anger or resentment or bitterness maybe that you guys have been dealing with there's a need to really find what brings happiness what brings joy and like finding that feeling of what it will feel like if you can accomplish your goals if you had everything that you thought you needed right now and like really really becoming very aware of your emotional state and how that kind of attracts the same emotional state okay so let's pull you one final message here Pisces, one final message for your week ahead. Any last guidance or advice or anything you need to see for my beautiful Pisces souls? We have the gnome of mushrooms and buttons. Seek stillness and joy. They are wise teachers. How perfect is that, Pisces? Seek stillness and joy. Stop trying to outrun or run away from anything kind of energies that are coming your way um, and really try to find that happiness and that joy and try to really kind of maintain that emotional state Pisces that's a big message for you this week um, but this is what I'm seeing here for you guys if you enjoyed this reading if it resonated with you if it brought you value please hit that like button comment down below let me know what you thought of this um, also you know again feel free to watch any other major placements sun moon rising venus or any other signs or titles that you feel called to at this time and consider subscribing if you haven't already thank you guys so very much for joining me here today and I will see you all next time bye